Hello, happy Pride. Happy Pride. Um, I have uh, two poems, they'll be under five. Um, and they're both about, I don't know, this gender stuff, it's, it's a lot. I'm very tired. Um, this is called Them, and these are both first drafts, um, first ish drafts, so new shit. Uh, Femme Dragon. O oh, nemesis imprint. You squeeze into jeans and find something of silk to drape on top like piped buttercream, a décolleté dusted with sparkling minerality. Put your femme drag on again. That's the only way to add fire to your roar. Check out your ass in the mirror, then throw your clean hair over your shoulder, head tilted down, wink. The mirror winks back. You are both St. George and the, the dragon. You are just one, you are just the one reading the picture book, ready to wobble in a velvet stacked heel boot and keep your mascara waterproof for just this reason. Besides, you know how to pretty cry still and hold your breath all night. It's just like passing a graveyard Resurrect the only way you've learned to stay powerful, and if not powerful, safe, and if not safe, then at least pretty enough that they let you go, or at least still stop for you at the crosswalk. Um, the second one is, is really about like queer, platonic, friend, love, 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 love. Um, it's called this is a working title. Tree hold, trees hold root hands underground, and this is how I stay connected. <clears throat> so ridiculous. Addie sends me chrysanthemum, chrysanthemums to steep for tea. The brown package is unmarked except for my address, and the momentary hiccup happens first. I've had threats in the mail before. Mutilated magazine pages, models scarred with cigarette burns, jagged box cutter edges. This, though, is sweetness. This is confirmation. Life is new. This is affirmation. Begin, begin, begin. Again, a tender unwrapping brings jazz and wax, a white book of matches. The care for so many senses that can only come from an earth sign, they're a Virgo. A queer sibling rooted, this is the clarification though, I'll set each slide of my life in a shoebox, nothing needs to stay in the closet. Without shining a light through it, you'd never be able to tell what you're looking at. Standing in a puddle at four, wrapped around an acoustic guitar at 14, restrung upside down, the silk poppies from prom, the first sapphic moment, how strange that water hot enough to burn can also bloom. To blossom is deliberate liberation. Okay.